What's good, YouTube? This is Rage Real. So, in today's video, I'm going to bring y'all some updated, and I believe it's honestly the best goal line defense in Madden 21. So, if you enjoyed this video, go and drop a like on the video right now. Go ahead and sub and turn on post notifications on. Now, before I do get into the video, I do ask if you find any value whatsoever throughout the video. If you could do me a favor and watch at least 30 seconds of any ad that you may see throughout the video, it will help my channel out tremendously because I plan on becoming a full time YouTuber. So, I would greatly appreciate that if you find any value out of this video. So, let's go and dive into this so we're gonna be talking about the 4-3 even 6-1 now i know you might be saying real i already got goal line defense all i gotta do is go to goal line i go to 6-2 and then i go to a 60 out jack right here and then i spread my uh line and then i shoot the guy with my linebacker now if they if you see them come out and goal line yes you can run that one by far please go ahead and run that one but this is more so if they come out and goal line like on anything other than the goal line so let's say they're on like the i don't know 40 yard line they come out and goal line or let's say they're on the 50 yard line they come out and goal line and you know that they could potentially pass the ball out of it so as you can tell there's only like two people in man coverage and then there's two zones so obviously it's not going to be good coverage so that's why i don't personally like that one and then also what i'm going to be showing you is why i like this defense right here because it's going to be able to allow you to account for them trying to audible down so let's say spread wide slot for example you see right here so you see i have actually three tight ends and i have two running backs in so what i'm going to be able to do i'm going to be able to audible down the goal line so let's say like let's paint this scenario in here right so let's say you know you seen it was you know let's say it's four from one right and then you see they come out in this formation you see they audible down and then we'll be able to audible down right with them now this is good because if they try to run the ball out of this this is actually good run defense. There's ways to set up to make this great run defense. And you have DBs on the field, you see. So we're going to be able to play the pass really well. So that's why I like this. Kind of as a base goal line defense. So um, now let's paint this picture in your head. So let's say they audible down to fullback dot. Boom, right? Now for the setup that I like, it's actually really quick. But I'm going to take a little while explaining, you know, why it works the way it works. So for the setup, you just want to uh, spread your line left. You want to crash your line to the left. And that's it. <laughs> now, uh, there's going to be times I like blitzing him. So if I know for a fact they're going to run the ball, I like blitzing him. And you'll see why that's important just now. Uh, but I want to paint this picture in your head first before I do that. So you see how I, we have one, two, three linemen on this side? Now, they have what? One, they have two, and they have three offensive linemen. So it's a, it's a three on three matchup. Now, that's out the way. So let's look at this side, right? So the center is going to actually block this guard. I mean, the, the guard and the center are going to double team Grady Jarrett right here, the defensive tackle that has a star on his head. Now, what's going to happen is this center is going to try to work and pick up um, Deion Jones right here. So if you can imagine who's responsible for me, absolutely nobody. There's going to be no way anyone's going to be able to block you on this plate. All you have to do is just find the hole. So more than likely, you're going to be able to stand right here. I like standing right here every time. And what's going to happen, nine times out of ten, you're going to be able to shoot straight down into this gap right here because it's going to be wide open now there's going to be times where this gap is wide open so what you can do what you'll be able to do you'll be able to kind of like go at this angle and you'll be able to pop in just right there so let me see if i can show you right here this is what the defense is looking like i like standing about right here so let's go and snap the ball so you see how we can kind of whip around now right there i think i took too long so i think that's kind of why everything got a little funky but i might hop into replay and show you real quick because it's not like 100 percent. i wish i could sit here and tell you hey run this 100%, you're going to blow it up in the back with 100%. As you know, Madden 21 just doesn't work that way. Uh, but I wish I could tell you that. But what I could can tell you is you're going to be free. So why? You see how those three block those three? And now, look, who's accounting for me? Absolutely nobody. It's just that they didn't let me make this happen. It kind of gave me a weird animation. But at the same time, I could have tried to split that gap. So you're going to have gaps you can shoot. You just have to figure out which one you want. Now, like I told you, if I don't win with the one I normally said, I probably would have been able to blow it up. So I am going to show you that again. Um, there's going to be times where you choose the wrong gap. I mean, it happens. Um, happens to the best of us. So let's go to fullback dive. Uh, let's go and slide our line. And look, we're set up. That's all we have to do. Now, blitzing them is optional. It's optional. I just like to blitz them. Um, but it's completely optional. So boom, let's say we get it right there now. You see how that's gonna look? It's gonna look like that every single time. So I actually wanna go into replay really quick um, because there's different setups that I'm gonna have to give you. So don't think this is just a one setup versus all. Um, it's one setup versus most. Now the only thing it's not good against is power O, but I'm gonna go over power O specifically because there's gonna be ways we can kind of manipulate it. So but again, let's talk about why this works. So you see how those three blind and block those three. And now right here, what's gonna happen is you see how we blitzing our uh, 
our linebacker, the center has to grab him. So, like I said, there's just literally nobody accounting for your user. That's why this defense is really, really fire. So, again, I'm going to show you one more time. <laughs> and then we're going to move on to something else. I promise. I just wanted to show it three just so you show you how quick you can set it up. And I want to show you that you don't have to blitz him as well. See, we're already set up. I'm already waiting for him to snap the ball at this point. So, he snaps the ball. You see, I, I'm able to. Uh, right there, I didn't. That's why I said I actually like blitzing him because it's going to guarantee you that you get it 100% of the time. But it's definitely not necessary. It's just EA is on some dumb stuff right now. I just want to run it one more time. I'm sorry. I'm not going to run it no more after this time. I'm just kind of upset that it didn't work. And my controller is slipping out of my hand. I don't know if y'all heard that. But it's making it hard for me to shoot when I'm trying to catch my controller. But uh, it does work, I promise. So, anyways, let's go ahead and move on. Because I don't want to sit there and just bore y'all keep running that. So, let's let's talk about halfback dive. So, halfback dive, if you have somebody with an ability like Grady Jarrett has any kind of run stuffer, you're going to wreak havoc in the backfield. So let me just kind of show you what I'm talking about. So let's stand where we're supposed to right here. Now, what you're going to notice, you see how he bully, bullies him? And then we're actually going to be able to have a free gap to go ahead and shoot that in the backfield. So if they want to run a halfback dive, then they're going to have a really hard time. So it's not it's not hard to get a run stuffer or any type of ability like that. Um, you just need somebody who has one of them. They don't have to have all the run stopping abilities. It's just something that can help out a little bit. So, like I said, you see how he just shoves them out the way right there? Um, they actually are going to block you, but you have to make sure you can beat them uh, to the punch. So, let me see if I can show you that again real quick. And like I said, um, it's just one of those defenses to where you basically can have an answer. Like, you, you have an answer. Uh, so, let me see if I can show you what I'm talking about. So, you see how he boom right there? That's what I was waiting on. So, you're going to be able to stop most setup, most things with that one setup. Now, I know what you're probably thinking, okay, real, what if they audible down and then they want to go power O, which is something most people will do. So power O is going to be a little bit different. So you can't do the same thing against power O. I'll show you quickly what it looks like against power O, but you're not going to be able to shoot the gap with it. Um, so what you're going to notice is that, like, if you, even if you try to run with the flow, it still does pretty decent. It does decent, but you're not going to be able to stop it in the backfield. So a better way that I like to deal with it, because that you can't really blow up power out. At least I don't know a defense out there yet that blows it up consistently in the backfield, just how you do with the dive. I don't know one yet. But what you can do is you can slide your line the same way, shift in the same way, and now you can actually come and use it, uh, this safety right here. So I like to do this because the user will probably be thinking you're over here still, and then you already blew up their dive twice. So now um, they're like, you know what? I'm just gonna run power out. So if you have a feeling they're running power out, then this is the defense I want you to get in. So. What you're going to do, you see 70, I want y'all to watch 70, he's the he's the left guard, so kind of watch him this play. So what you want to do, you want to go and tack him just like that. So you're not trying to essentially make the tackle, you kind of want to accidentally make the tackle. So I know you're like, huh? But let me, let me show you what I mean. So what's going to happen is, uh, first let's start on this side. So responsibilities, this guard is responsible for the person right in front of him. The tight end is going to block, they're actually going to double team him and then he's actually going to probably carry to him more than likely, but the tight end is going to block him. He's going to block him. The fullback's actually responsible for this guy. My bad. He's responsible for this guy. You see him heading out there? So absolutely nobody's responsible for you. So since you're the free player, what you're going to do is you're going to take this guard right here and you're going to kick him out. Well, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to basically make the running back want to turn up and hit this gap that's created right here. So this is exactly, exactly how you want to do it. And this is honestly how real football is too. So you actually kind of learn this in real football. So he's going to attack with his inside shoulder. He's going to keep his outside shoulder free. So he's going to be able to make the tackle. So that's why I actually was able to make the tackle. Because if he tries to turn in, oh, if he tries to turn up in the gap, look who's waiting right here, untouched. So that's why I said this will give you the best chance of blowing up power O. So let's see if I can actually show you that one more time here. So let's go to power O. Like I said, it's a super fast setup. Like, I'm already set up. I'm waiting at this point. And then, like I said, we're going to go straight down. Just straight down. And like I said, it's looking consistent. And that's because we're forcing them to have to take that ball. Um, they have to take that ball inside if they want to be able to score. Because we're forcing them to go inside. So, again, same exact setup. We're going to get power roll again. Go straight down. And then, boom. Like I said, um, it's really just CPU. So if you have somebody like an enforcer right there, that's going to help you out tremendously. So I'll show you one more time. And then after that, after this, I actually want to get into uh, quarterback quarterback sneak. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I want to get a quarterback sneak. That's actually going to be the video right there. So, again, just come straight down. And then, okay. <laughs> I just want to see what happened on replay. And after this, we'll get to quarterback sneak. And that'll be the video. So I'm just curious about what happened, right? It looked like he just kind of went through my person. Let's see. What, what happened? Let me see something. 
What do you do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this game is so bad. Look at that. Like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> but, um... Anyway, hopefully Madden 22, ho hopefully they got all this fixed, man. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think about Madden 22. Y'all think it's going to be better than this? I mean, what, what y'all think? I don't know at this point. Um, I don't. Even, I think Madden 20 was a better game than Madden 21, if y'all want to be all the way honest. Um, but let's go to goal line, and then let's go to quarterback sneak. So the reason I like this defense is because to stop quarterback sneak, guess what all you have to do? You'll never guess. You just literally take him. <laughs> and you stand right here and just stop quarterback sneak. So watch. Uh, just go. Of course I say that. My dude misses a tackle. But nobody actually blocks you on this play. That's why I said it's actually really sweet. Uh, so just take him. Stand right here. Snap the ball. And then you're going to be able to make the tackle just like that. And then even if they ID you. Check this out. Even if they ID you, you'll still be able to uh, get in there. So you see the ID marker right here, the M. So I'm going to put it over my head just like that. And now I'm actually going to stand in this gap. And what you're going to notice is that they make the center do like a weird fall. Like he blocks absolutely nobody. So the center is supposed to be the one that blocks you. But for whatever reason, it's, this quarterback sneak is broken. So nobody ever runs this. But if somebody happens to run it just one time, I recommend you just kind of standing right here. And then all you got to do is just boom. And most of the time, you actually get a fumble. That's why nobody ever runs a quarterback sneak because it's just, it's just not that good of a run this year. So I believe that covers it. Oh, one more thing. One more thing. I actually forgot. I almost forgot. So let's talk about this. So the other reason I like this defense, because you'll have people that run this PA power pass, and what they'll do is they'll do something like this where they actually go, they'll play action, and then they'll actually look to run. My controller's broken. <laughs> Y'all don't, don't mind my controller, but my controller's broken. But you'll have people that do that right there. So the reason that I like this defense is because if you play somebody that wants to do that, so let's say you were expecting to dive, right? Let's just say we were expecting to dive, and then it came out in the power pass. So, what you can do, you can take your user if you want to. You can kind of come on this side. So, if they try to roll out, you'll be right there. Or, check this out. Or, um, what you can do, let's say you just didn't know, right? Let's say you didn't know. Let's say you shot the gap, trying to be greedy. So, let's go to PA Power. Um, so, you've got PA Power. Now, let's say you're trying to be greedy, right? So, let's snap the ball. And now, let's say we try to be greedy. Now, what you can do, you can actually send somebody, and then they'll actually come get them. That's my preferred way. So, your user is going to be circling back. I I'll explain this in a second. So, I don't want to make sure you get lost. Now, this is, like I said, why I like this other than goal line. Because goal line defense, you're giving up a touchdown if they run PA power. I'm not even lying to y'all. So, what you're essentially doing is he's in a three wreck. So what that means is he's going to kind of match with the third receiver. So you see the third receiver, they actually consider this to be the third. So he kind of is going to shuffle. So when the quarterback rolls out the pocket and you send him, he's going to automatically go. So as soon as he gets outside the pocket, you're going to send him. And that's already your linebacker, your enforcer, your fastest guy. This is already your best linebacker that you're sending. And your user's going to be somewhere probably where he is anyways. Um, so all you got to do is come, maybe go try to lurk something. And then, I mean, it's just defense at that point. But anyways, um... That's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this video. I appreciate y'all taking out the time to watch this video. Comment, let me know how you like this goal on defense. It's actually personally what I use, and I'm having a lot of success out of it. So, anyways, I hope you have a blessed day. I'm Ray Drill, and I'm out.